Hey, welcome to this part 58. I hope you are a member and a subscriber. Cloud kernel members can see this video. So this is the question which AWS service can a company use to store and manage Docker images. So we use Elastic Container so we can easily store, share, and deploy container software. Now you might ask here we are talking about Docker images. Docker images are actually images of a container software only. Okay. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database. You cannot store Docker images. Kinesis data stream is a real time messaging system. And Elastic File System is a storage. You can only uh, store some files, visual pictures, images. But Docker images, there is a special service. Now you may say, hey, EFS or S3, why can't I store Docker images? See, there is a service you have to use that, that is ECR. Now, this is the next question here. Now, you want to prevent malicious activities and you want to prevent unauthorized actions to protect your account whatever eh? how which service will help see you want you are in an apartment complex you want to prevent unauthorized actions people who are not a resident and so and they are just coming in and they don't know where they are going inside which apartment and those kind of stuff then you have to stop them so guard does it similar to here in aws guard duty will do it so it is an intelligent threat detection service you can continuously monitor your security guard in the apartment complex will continuously sit there for eight hours and monitor here also it will monitor databases storage and etc for potential threats and it also gives mitigation automated response for those threats now you might ask what are the other services for example a whenever you think about ddos protection think about shield question does not talk about ddos option b whenever you think about configuring rules for firewalls then you use this you can create waf rules and automatically enforce security policies the question does not ask about enforcing any policy it just says stop bad players from getting in d inspector will help you with vulnerability management what that means is it will discover and scan the loads for software vulnerabilities and unintended network exposure sometimes the network is not sealed enough to prevent any unauthorized access or unintended access here the question does not say anything about network and so on so C is our final answer. The next question here, it is asking about a benefit of cloud computing. Okay, why do, why do people go to cloud? What is the benefit? There are various benefits, but here they are saying you have to pick a benefit which is linked to the ability to offer lower variable cost as a result of high volume purchase. You go to buy apples. If you buy uh, like two pounds of apple, uh, they may charge you say five dollars. But the moment you say, hey, I'm going to buy like 20 pounds. So the, the per pound cost may reduce from five dollars, maybe to uh, 3.5 dollars. So that is you buy more, you get discounted you pay less so if that is what we are talking then we are referring to economies of scale scale means uh, the volume can go up can go down scale up scale down 
So this is the right answer. Pay as you go pricing will apply to convert capex to opex cost. In real life, you buy softwares, you buy hardware on premises. But we are uh, in cloud, we don't have to buy anything. We can just use in the pay per price model. High availability is like um, you can have multiple data centers host the same application so that it is highly available. And global reach, obviously, if you have an application hosted in a data center in Ohio, then people from India should also be able to access it, authorized access. People from Singapore, UK, Europe should be able to access it. So this is my final answer. So this brings us to the end of part 58. Stay tuned, stay focused. Uh, you can focus on the concepts. We will see you again in the next part.